Hey, gorgeous friend. How are you? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. So I want to give a shout out to a bunch of you and one to say thank you. I appreciate you and I value you being here and contributing to the channel. So shout outs go to, and you know who you are, Diane, Sarah, Dodie, Daniel, Evie, Laurie, Cindy, Marquita, Carol, Lou, Living Plentiful. I know your face and you know I know who you are. Uh, Robert, Jam Noise, Bernadette, Anna, Joanne, Cheryl, Wondering, Soulful, Sharon, Jessica, and Robin. I know there's a whole bunch more of you. And always, as always, I appreciate you being here. But I wanted to give a shout out to you because you take the time to connect and share. And I just want to let you know that, yeah, big hugs. And if you don't like hugs, high five. And if you don't like high fives, um, send in your good vibes. <laughs> so thank you. Now, Pisces. We're going to check in for your energies for the month ahead. Kind of look at what's happening for the rest of May. Right now, at the time of this reading, we're in the beautiful new moon energy. New moon in Taurus, it's, you know, go go after the things you want. You've got Venus right there, potent, juicy, loving, supportive, magnetic. Um, we did have, and it's still in the energy, Mercury and Chiron uh, conjuncting. So they're sitting right at the 20 degree mark in Aries. Um uh, sorry, we've got Chiron in Aries and yeah, Mercury in Aries uh, right now conjuncting. So that really is about, you know, the depths of healing that needs to occur that may need, may have been from some areas around the way things were communicated with you or to you at some point, but it's very healing and like healing potent energy when these two are meeting. So you may be getting lots of thoughts and feelings and situations that you're being confronted with right now. It's meant to be supportive to let you know that, but if you're wondering why the energy is a bit like what's going on, yeah, Chiron is the healer, the wounded healer. So it's things that we get, we learn, maybe need to shed. Um, and being in Aries too, you know, sometimes it's a place of where we're feeling proud and feeling like I got this. And it just, again, may come up just, just to shed a little bit. So I just want to keep that in mind and maybe, you know, too, so you can kind of understand what may be going on right now if you're kind of like, why is this coming up, you know? Anyway, let's connect in, guys, uh, for the month of May, major energies, really come on <laughs> I want this healing a broken heart just to kind of go away so I'm sorry whoever is going through this but again we're healing we're healing guys I've got Clover who's been sleeping most of the day just decided now to wake up and she's a bit scatty scatterbrain is that, I don't know they go through a weird scatterbrain thing anyway all right beautiful friend Let's see what's going down. So we've got the thinking man, envy and caring connections with a broken heart and woman holding a coin. I like it because there's transformation here, but there is some things that are being uncovered right now that I think you're learning, learning about yourself, learning about people. Um, there's a lot of recognition here or understanding about situations that I feel are coming to light for you. For some of you too, you know, you could be really thinking about a connection that you miss. It may not be the person itself that you miss, but it may be the the companionship, the care when it's, you know, when things are good. The knowingness of the possibilities of when life is just at a beautiful place in harmony and balance with someone. And it could be, you know, you may be seeing it around right now or seeing it for other people or questioning, you know, when is this going to come in for you uh, or when is this situation going to heal and kind of just be back to a warm, beautiful, rock solid place. And I feel right now that 
I do feel this is shifting, but I do feel there's a little bit of reflection right now. Maybe you two could be questioning someone's motives or intentions, like why they're doing things a certain way. And maybe you're keeping it to yourself um, in terms of what you're seeing. It's just with the envy energy, it can be an interesting one because it is making judgment on situations, okay? That maybe you're looking at a situation and like, why are things happening a certain way? Why aren't things happening a certain way for you? Could be coming up and in question. But again, around a connection or a situation that you value or yeah, it could be a person, but it could be just a situation uh, that you value some component area of your life. What I do like though, that whatever is happening here that's been felt, that's been acknowledged, that's been understood around this heart space, I do feel like this is coming to completion with the number nine showing up here. Um, it's like the shedding may be taking place and it's supportive with this new moon energy because I feel wherever you're stepping into or stepping through now, when we shift of what we don't have to recognizing what we do have, there's something special that happens. And I feel with, with whatever that is, something is balancing out here. Number 42 equaling number six, that's balance. I feel like there's something coming in an offer, an opportunity that's presenting itself to you. You're also being recognized here. I feel in a really like solid place. So if there's something that you're wanting to accomplish or wanting to step into, I feel this is kind of confirmation here. I'm also just getting the sense maybe you've been a little hard on yourself, friend. It just it keeps coming up. Um, I don't know if it's a situation that you're looking at or assessing, but I just, yeah, I just get a sense here that you're being a little hard on yourself. All right. Let's get a little bit more on each of these to see where this is going. Thinking, man, what do we need to know? Balance energy justice and conflict and defeat you could be dealing with an air energy the thinking man um they may be coming from a place too again i feel like you might be questioned someone like the way someone is doing something and why they're doing the way they're doing something um but it could be too the way someone is operating or what they're thinking about it could also be reflective of how they're seeing you and maybe they're coming from a place right now. Because with this justice energy, this could be some legalities that you're working through or some challenges with someone that you're trying to get to a place of like working things out. But the way that they're coming, looking at the situation just seems to be from a bit of lack, um, you know, which can kind of suck. When you got to sometimes deal with some negative, <laughs> I call them negative Nancys, right? Um what else do we need to know about this envy energy? Wisdom. Number five, hermit. Sorry, not hermit. Hierophant energy. It's interesting how you got the major arcanas coming out. Justice and hierophant. I'm just going to keep diving in a little bit deeper just to see where this is all going. Jeez, I mean, I don't know if this could get any clearer. Heartache and loss again. Heartache, broken heart with a caring connection. It could be someone that you were married to or in a commitment with or something pretty close and significant. You are having some challenges with this person. This could be some communication challenges, some conflict in interest or conflict in decision and steps forward. You've got both fives coming out, which is super interesting. Uh, broken heart. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. Like I said, look at all these major arcanas. This is chariot energy. So you're definitely moving away or going a new direction from this broken heart. I do feel you're going to have a successful outcome, whatever this is. Yeah, things are definitely... Um, going to work out I feel in terms of a situation that you're trying to work through or trying to resolve or trying to just come to a place within yourself here um, yeah I'm just I'm feeling for some of you I'm feeling like this energy if it's around right now 
what, what we're going to see is a shift through. There's a change. There's things growing and things moving forward here. But I am s acknowledging some form of justice or some form of, um, again, bringing something into harmony. I feel this is quite a successful supportive energy but it's like you're gonna you may be going through especially like I said with Mercury and Chiron like maybe some conversations right now that need to be had to heal certain parts or to express yourself in a certain way that you just need to get something off your chest and when in, in Aries I mean pow right <laughs> um so yeah I just I'm getting some sense here that there may be some interesting conversations um, with someone that you care about or someone that you did care about, someone that you potentially are married to, were married to, were committed to or wanting to deepen a connection with. Yeah, I think a few things are bubbling up to the surface. Again, um, we've got the nine of pentacles, emotional withdrawal. So moving away from a situation because you know what makes you happy. I think you have this hope and desire here. Yeah, and then moving towards this commitment and success. So wherever you're moving into next, um, we're seeing through May again, a bit bumpy, but this is the clearing out. You've got this new moon energy. This is a time to really connect into your heart space, really connect into the juiciness of Venus and what it is that you want to attract in for your life, for your career, for love um, and really drop into that energy because I think that's going to be incredibly important for you right now. Okay, let's see where the rest of the month is kind of going um, because, the yeah, it seems like it's a bit, a bit bumpy for a week here. <coughs> So we've got the chariot energy and the page of emotions with this balance um, justice energy. So I do feel like an offer is potentially on the table here. You may be, you know, it may be even some, like something that's kind of capturing your attention a bit here that you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to check this out. I'm going to see where this goes and what we can do with this. But it's interesting too because I feel like at the same time with this situation, you may be withdrawing your your care factor a little bit, like reducing it to a page of emotions. It's kind of like you, I feel this was a situation you cared about but you kind of don't as much anymore and you're taking kind of your power back is what I'm getting. Um to move forward in a certain direction here. So I got the page of inspiration with this six of emotions. So I do feel that there was a significant connection here at some point uh, that you are either pondering on, working through spiritually or just like I said, maybe there's some legalities about it that are being wrapped up. Um, but what I feel is that there's going to be some form of communication here. Interesting. Sorry, I've just, I'm getting all these messages. I'm just trying to decipher it. Okay, just give me. Interesting, we've got the five of inspiration. I'm just going to put that back in if it needs to come out. Let's just, I just need to get more. They just wanted me to clarify this. Thank you. There's a potential here to just um, like someone, someone that you may be dealing with here may be as well like looking at a solution around a situation. I don't know what that situation is exactly. I'm not going to know. Um, for some of you, it could be work related with this Ada materials or it could be just someone's choosing to keep busy because that's the, the best way they know how to deal with a situation and I'm starting to get anxiety. Okay. So someone here may be a little bit stressed out on a situation that you're dealing with, that you're researching upon. I feel like you're, you're having to deal with something right now. Okay. I don't know if it's a person, if it's something to do in your workspace. Um, 
Like there's a lot going on that feels a little compounded energetically. And I think there's some parts that are like exciting and good. And then there's other parts that are just like, I don't want to really be effing dealing with this, right? Because there is some form of communication that is just breaking down or is just making you feel like... <laughs> I'm getting that song by Will I Am and Britney Spears. Scream and shout and let it all out is what I'm hearing. I think, is it Britney Spears in it too? Maybe. I think it is. Maybe. I definitely, it's Will I Am. I can tell you that. Um, but that's what I'm hearing. You want to scream and shout and let it all out. Again, Mercury Chiron makes total sense. Um, so in saying that, I feel that there can be something that you're moving towards or someone wants to move towards you, okay? Um, they may be making a lot of excuses right now, choosing to either like they're too busy or um, maybe they're trying to educate themselves on a situation that they've got to deal with. Whatever this is, is just someone behind the scenes, I feel, is doing something. Uh, but what I do like here, and mind you, whoever's behind the scenes doing something, they're a bit concerned here. And if you are dealing with some contracts, with some legalities or trying to get to the bottom of a situation to get back to a piece of like a place of like, we just, can we just figure this out? Can we just make this work? Whatever that situation is, um, Again, it, it could be really intense for some of you. For some of you, it could just be negotiating some form of agreement, um, but what I like here is you, again, you've kind of withdrawn your energy a bit from it and just like taken charge in whatever you need to take charge in. And it, it's like whatever you need to hear, learn, uncover or whoever wants to come towards you to share some ideas or inspiration with you. Because I feel some of you have got a person who's a little bit challenging right now. And then I think you've got energy and places and people that are really supportive. And you kind of got two sides going on right now that you may be dealing with. But what I do like is I feel that whatever's coming towards you or whatever you're choosing to take charge in, there's some reflection here of some past experience that you're identifying and realizing it's like to take it, pick it up and do something with it. So again, I don't know what exactly that is, but yeah, someone here that you're dealing with, someone from your past may choose to communicate or express some form of regret or some form of something like someone w has been dealing with. Um, it's really interesting because I'm getting like this is a, a piece of a big part of a puzzle. And as in like one slice, you know, if we looked at a pie graph and you have so many different components in your life that make up this pie graph, this is a slice of it. And this this is a slice of it. <laughs> I feel this might be a slice of it, but it's all intertwined. And this is what's wild. You are going and dealing with so much stuff, Pisces. So if it seems like the story is going kind of like a bit, it's because you have got so much going on planetarily, energetically. There is so much going on, but I promise you it's very supportive, really supportive. Even though at times it may be feel, you know, feel like what? It's okay. You know, day by day, friend, day by day. But um, yeah, I feel someone in your life is really seeing things, probably wishing they did things a little bit differently and now recognizing they kind of messed up. Um, I feel this is a person who's a bit more negative, um, like from the words that they use or their approach towards things. It's like they, they may... you probably recognize like they might have a bit of like a dark cloud over them. Like things aren't going as great for them right now or they're struggling a bit. And I've, probably for some of you, you, you might be like, well, good because they were, you know, they weren't very nice and maybe it's kind of karma. I get it. But um, yeah, for, it's someone I feel who's kind of getting a little bit of dealing with what they needed to deal with. Okay. 
So I like this. And this is what I was talking about. I can see the shift. It's like I know there's a shift happening. So there is a shift coming through mid, I feel mid to later. Oh, oh my gosh. Why was it going to say August? That is so random. Maybe that's love in August that you find or meet or connect. But this energy here right now, whatever this connection is where there's been a little bit of hardship, someone wants to talk and communicate with you, okay? Or someone who's been going through some form of change in a dynamic, it's like they want to come talk to you. They want to share something. What do they want to share here? Got the muse of material. There's some offer and opportunity. You might be coming into some money or, again, there's something to do, I think, financially or someone sees you as a counterpart here because you've got muse of materials and queen of um, coin, which is king and queen um, of pentacles energy. What else do we need to know about this muse energy? Someone's, ha I think, had someone, I think, has had a really good think of how they've been behaving or how they've showed up or what they've done here. And it's like you're getting some offer. Someone wants to present something to you or make amends or make something work here, is what I feel is happening. Um, because they recognize, too, at the end of the day, I think this person's figured out that when you were in their life, things were probably pretty good. Or when you're in their life, energetically, they feel really good. I don't know why I'm getting this is more of a past person or a situation that you've been dealing with. Um, and this person wants to communicate something because I think they realize how do things always work out for you? And I don't know if this person created some difficulty in your life or whatever they were dealing with challenged you in some way. Um, but it's like they're recognizing the difference with you and without you. Um, or the way that they contributed to something just was not supportive. And they're seeing that now, like, how do you just keep going, Pisces, and keep shining the light and keep shining the love? The reality is they don't know, too, the hardships you've been through, the challenges that you've been through, and the work you need to do on yourself to kind of keep in this belief, in this prayer, and this hope of where you're going and what you want, and to maintain that, right? It's not easy, but I feel like someone is recognizing something here but at the same time that's cool that they want to recognize it I feel like you've just exactly you've just moved on from the hardships the heartache whatever that you've been through like you've been through it but I don't think you're kind of harboring it uh, anymore I think there's some recognition of who you are as a person and your value and your worth and you're not going to take on anyone or anything that isn't matching the energy of if you're a, a divine feminine, for example, like, and, and you want to connect with a divine masculine, like, you know the qualities and the way this person operates and how they show up and how they make you feel, right? It's not like, oh, you know, we had a connection, but even though they're not treating me great and whatever, no, you know what this energy um, embodies that meets you at a place of your strength and your um, independence and what you bring to the table okay and I think again you're kind of acknowledging that and if you're also a divine masculine divine masculine seeking um, your counterpart there's also this you want someone who's going to bring the energy for you you want someone who's going to be from what this is showing here anyway that can embody the, their own beauty and just like the way that they show up, it's very uplifting. It's a feel-good energy that the masculine really enjoys because it makes them feel good in addition to making them feel good. It, it's They feel seen, they feel heard, they feel understood, but without the but with the confidence of the divine feminine also owning who they are and not being afraid to be who they are in full embodiment. And there's something about it here for the divine masculine, divine feminine understanding it. But it's interesting because the divine feminine right now is showing up quite free energetically. Um, 
so to be able to capture her at empress level this divine masculine is going to have to work pretty be consistent show up quite strongly this is also letting me know that anyone who is really looking at taking charge in their career wanting to build on something this is the kind of the confirmation here this is a good time to go ahead with it whatever lessons you've learned whatever situation that you've been through I feel like you're going to be financially supported I feel like you're going to be supported energetically um, and again you're just embodying something to really just power ahead wherever you're going next so there's a lot of a lot of very strong energy wherever your the next path is and on your journey here you just got a bit of crap that you got to iron out and hopefully these things aren't too too much of a takeover but I think they're going to be a slice in the pie of your life that you've got to wrap up here and May's a great month to wrap it up because this is the foundation April was a lot around discovery and okay got to now it's going to slowly integrate as we're getting into may the integration is still taking place but it's now the shedding of other parts that yep yeah, not quite right i think there's a little bit more healing and uh lessons that we get to witness but then it's like okay now it's making sense where i'm going but it's like all these things kind of had to shift together so the foundation that you build upon for this next chapter these next six months these next 12 months are super strong super supportive so this heartache and this stuff we can take a breath healing's still going to be needed i'm not going to pretend you know i think healing's an ongoing journey but I don't know why it's just like healing doesn't need to be so painful and so hurtful and just linger no it's about growth it's about expansion it's about understanding ourselves better it's about attracting in the most beautiful things after we've uncovered oh you know okay I've learned this lesson I can apply this in my life you know it's like we, we get to self-heal and self-educate along the way to make us a more wholesome stronger insightful beautiful soul that we get to keep passing on all that in our life to others as well and then meet someone at our level um, because I feel spiritual expansion emotional healthy you know spirituality as well is like really key to all this um, and then there's nothing more beautiful in life when you can meet someone at the or someone can meet you at that level too right it's like you're both growing and you're both willing to grow together and there's just this different type of maturity that comes with it what else do we need to know here i just want to get <coughs> yeah okay so whatever that you're dealing with or handling here we've got the justice energy again coming up so i'm seeing something successful here that may seem a little bit where is this going um but I feel like, yeah, things are going to balance out. Yeah, look at this. I feel here, hold your ground, stand strong wherever you're heading, wherever you're going. Keep believing in your path, in your direction. Even if things don't make sense, even if sometimes it feels like you're climbing up a freaking mountain or trying to push the damn thing. Um, success is on the other side. I need to let you know that you've almost reached the pinnacle point. Um or the tipping point if you've heard that and know the book that I'm talking about um, and you're going to win here very strongly this is not a time to give up this is not a time to lack your belief or lack in faith this is like I know things are a little bit tedious right now I know things seem like what the f or hard or heavy on one side than the other but spirits letting you know you'll go if for some of you there's something monetary you are going to succeed here in this offer this opportunity if this has got to do with you know someone presenting some something to you or you building you know a certain area of your life or a part of your life that you're taking a turn to go towards something I'm just seeing this is really successful for you and really upholding um a really beautiful strong place but what I like is you're taking control here you're choosing to take control because the triumph energy the chariot energy cancer energy it's determined very determined and determined of driving the path forward and choosing the direction that makes sense and something here after this lesson or this experience really makes sense and I feel is going to set you up for success so big and so beautifully but you had to kind of wrap this crap out um, and maybe it's also letting go or just finally like I said voicing what needed to be voiced expressing what needed to be expressed um, 
and just being okay, like being okay, really accepting where you are in life and going, you know what, this didn't work out. That was awesome. I learned this. And you know what? I'm just, I'm taking what I got. And it's like being grateful for all these things, even when the things didn't work out. It's like, you know, something better is coming along because energetically you feel it and you embody it. And it's like, that's the universe gifts you that as well. And I just, I'm really seeing this. There's some power in conversations that are happening, um, some significant opportunities. I do even feel like, I feel like you might even meet someone or have someone here in your life that you get to have deeper conversations with, okay? Deeper conversations with that talk about the healing aspects of love and what that means and where you want to go. Like there's some spiritual essence here with someone that I think you're learning about the conflict someone is also experiencing. So I don't feel like this is all like dealing with BS and or someone's BS. I feel like you may be dealing with someone that you just have to deal with, you know, it, like I said, it could be in any situation, work life, home life, a relationship of some kind. But I think there's also a connection that you get to go into the depths with to understand each other, have deeper conversations, acknowledge where the hurts have been. So you can move forward in a way that is understood and on a solid foundation as well, because I do see someone really wanting to envelope you, um, Pisces here and sees a lot of happy here. And it might come out of the woodwork because you finally face some other stuff that you've just gone, you know what? Again, I, I kind of don't care. And the I don't care with this page of page of cups is not I don't care as in give a F. It's I'm just not going to – like I'm good. I'm really good with where I'm at. And when there's something really big and juicy, I'm going to pour the love in. But right now I'm really content with where, where my love space is for this situation or that situation. But I'm not going to give all of me to people, places and things that aren't showing up in reciprocation. So it's just kind of a smart way of living, like guarding your heart, guarding your mind on what you let in um, because you're so full of it, right? As in love. <laughs> and I feel like you're just really discerning right now on the priorities in your life and where, where it's going and where you're choosing to take it. So I love that. Um, let's get a few um, burning oracle, burning heart love oracle for those of you that are wanting to hear from someone, wondering where they're at, if you're in no contact or some situation. So let's get you some messages here if that applies to you. And then we're going to get a few more on, um, I didn't realize this is going on so long, in terms of new connections. Okay, so you've got an energy here, you tame my demons. And it's interesting because like I said, there's someone here that knows that when you're around, things seem to make things brighter. When you're not around, I think they've realized, holy shit, like why, why is everything just so good when Pisces is around or Pisces is in my life? As soon as they're gone or things turn to shit with them, everything just falls apart. You wonder? Okay. And I did get this energy too. We've got, I've been watching your socials um, and admiring your pictures. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Maybe creepy. I don't know. One more. One more. Okay, it's given us two more. I was selfish, stuck in my ego. This could be also the envy energy in some way. Usually it's more of an unhealthy ego. Ooh, and I want to kiss you. <laughs> Maybe they're watching your lips on social media. I don't know. Do you know those people that just watch your lips? I don't know if that sounds weird, but. Okay. I've got a couple more. I ran because I wasn't ready for you and I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. Wow. Wow. And that could be too, someone is overwhelmed here. We can see someone potentially in regret, saddened from some situation um, or connection, which is really interesting. Let's get uh, a little bit on those that are welcoming in new connections, new love. Or wanting to deepen a relationship and what the advice is here. These are the divine doors energy. So this one you have got, that looks like some, a Buddha. Let's see what it's got. Offerings. 
Abundance lies in the heart that allows, share more than expected and see love come around. Hmm. There's something here about healing that I feel is happening, like I said, because I can see that this is shifting into quite strong happiness here. So this door is talking about destiny. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Gosh, I, I also need to tell you something about my meditation this morning because I think that's going to resonate. And this door is a stranger's grace. Ego, fears and the sudden danger. But never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. That's come out a few times for you guys, especially in the extended. So I do wonder if you've met someone random or, you know, someone obviously I think, pe you know, when we first meet people, they are strangers technically, right? Most of the time, like the first time we meet them, they're kind of a stranger. doesn't matter how you meet them. But I feel like there's going to be some exchange of experiences, which is really interesting. That creates a pretty different type of connection because it's talking about the heart. It's talking about as one door closes, another opens. And sometimes for to have that conversation would mean that a door kind of has closed if you end up talking about that. I don't know. It's like I feel like someone's going to talk, meet someone, talk about an experience that they've been through and then it, it, the kind of the connection evolves. Um that's what I feel like is happening in terms of something here. I'm getting anxiety, so I don't know who's feeling it, but okay, guys, take a breath. Whew. All right, some final advice for the month of May. What do we need to know? A personal issue reaches resolution. We do see this here with the, uh, the justice energy, so I like that a lot. Don't let your past hold you back, South Node. You're very close to achieving your goal and we do see this here. Was it this one? This one here, yeah. No. No, here. So whatever you're trying to accomplish right now, again, a reminder to keep going. I'm going to check to this woman holding a coin. I want to get a little bit extra on it because I feel like there's something coming in and I want to see what that is for you. Uh, you're very close to achieving your goal. What else do we need? One more. For May. What do we need to know? A win-win outcome is forecast. I like it a lot. So to me, again, balance, justice, energy. So there's definitely something here that's closing out that needs to be finalized for the month of May. So I love that. I think that's really supportive, really beautiful. Um, yeah, and just, you know, it's, it's a positive way forward. Let's, um, like I said, I just wanted to get a little bit more on this woman holding a coin to see what all this is about. Woman holding a coin. Distant horizon occupation, thief, pathway privileged lady. So if anyone has not produced something uh, wholly, fully, um, has concealed things, I feel like That's going to come through. There's someone here that sees you in a very strong position or the way that whatever's going to work out is putting you in a very strong place in your life, whether it's career, a relationship. It's like the way that you're viewed by the rest of the world right now. Um, but I also think too, you're going to be very blessed on this journey, whatever is coming in next for you with this emperor energy, because this could be a lot around work, obviously occupation further. Like you've got that three times here kind of coming through. Um, and it seems to be sooner than you think. So I feel in the month of May, a pretty solid offer opportunity may present itself. It could be in love and a connection that you meet through work or someone wanting to partner with you or you guys have similar backgrounds and experiences in some way that you can talk about. Something about this thief energy, I'm going to get a couple more to clarify, but with this pathway and this privileged lady, I, I just think you're, gonna, you're being blessed here. 
with whatever this is. Interesting too, that goes down to number three, which is again, Emperor Energy. Sorry, Empress Energy. So you've got the Empress and the Emperor. So there's something definitely happening that's pretty bold and significant around this situation that you may have planted seeds in the past um, or worked on before and it's like coming to life, okay? Thief Energy, what do we need to know? What do we need to know about this Thief Energy? Yeah, so someone here I, fe I feel hasn't done the right thing and there's some concern around it um, <laughs> because they're dealing with you and know that they can't get through this bullshit. Sorry, just saying. <laughs> so someone here I feel may be just a little bit dishonest, maybe holding information, withdrawing information, hiding information, but it's keeping them up. Someone hasn't done the right thing here and they know it um, and it could be related around money. But what I feel is happening here is you're going to be made an offer here. They know that there's no other way around it. What else do we need to know? Share more on what's hidden here and what we need to know. Hmm. Wow. Three of wands, three of uh, swords. This could be a third party situation that happened. Um, or like someone was doing, like putting energy and effort into something else or someone else financially or investing time and energy in something, okay, around um, a third-party situation. Um, and it's like you, you find out a lot more around this or about this that comes out. What else do we need to know here? death energy and offer yeah so some of you what I really like is this situation is really going to take a turn okay in if someone hasn't done the right thing I think things are going to be learnt, uncovered and found out but at the same time it's like someone wants to prove that they've changed here um or I think they're going to learn a pretty strong lesson because it's like some some blessing is coming towards you and where you get a solid new start is what I feel. Final messages, final messages regarding this energy. Thank you. Yeah. What I love is you have choice. Wherever you're going, whatever you want next, whatever you want to attract, whatever you want to create, wherever you want to go, this is the month to make this happen. And even if there's been people that have let you down, even if there's people that have cheated you, even if there's just situations that you've had to deal with that, you know, at some point were in your heart, mattered to you and you care about at some point deeply, I feel you're moving through that. You're learning new things about yourself, about people, but it's setting you all up for success. And I know sometimes when we're in it and we have to be patient or we want to communicate with certain people and we can't, that or it's just not right, they're like there's no point to it because it's not supporting you. It's like you get to, you get a fresh start here, whatever that, whatever that is with this death energy, you get to rebuild. And the more that you get to rebuild and look at your value, that things that you already have with this seven of pentacles, it's like these blessings come in. And with that too, it's like the news, the communication that needs to happen, the right people that need to show up come through pretty quickly, okay? We've got the, um, that, coming up the chariot so we've got a lot of fast moving energy showing up here so I think this yucky stuff that you got to deal with is going to pass through pretty quickly but um I hope it's just not that bad at all it just might be uncomfortable you know shitty conversations you don't want to have have to deal with things that you don't want to do such is life right when you have to adult sometimes you know just be nice to be a kid and be nurtured and cared again for like I'm cool I'll just go to school for a bit you know um so yeah I just I really see right now that the world and the opportunities ahead are yours you're going to be graced with something pretty special and heading on the right path in the direction there's something beautiful divine that's happening for you and being orchestrated right now just pay attention to that you know, pay attention to those things, the destiny, the stranger's grace, the offerings and the abundance that lies ahead because all the things that may be challenging you are all showing they're going to balance out and work out. So 
try not to fret on that um, and stay focused on where you want to go, what you want to create. And if it's love that you're really desiring, just keep being the love because the more that you are the love, the more that you attract the love and eventually you'll attract the right love, you know. So I'm going to leave that with you, dear friends. Um, yeah, to an awesome May. I know we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, Pisces. <laughs> Um, sending you a whole bunch of love, a whole bunch of support. Appreciate you. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye.